Today, we're reviewing the Aquila 48. This is a new power cat, and the really neat thing about it is this bow is so broad and so wide that just walking across it takes 10 seconds. That's because this 48-foot boat has a 23-6 beam. That gigantic beam naturally also has tremendous advantages down below. You have room for a huge galley and a big salon. You're not going to have any problems cooking in here. Look, you get a double sink, another large sink, a two burner cooktop, a grill, a microwave, and under counter refrigerators. And there's a nice spacious dinette here up forward. Oh, and what do we have up here? And you know, Lex, I've never seen a forward cockpit on a cruising cat like this before. What in the world ever gave you the idea to design this in? Well, I think one of the things about cats is the space that they have, and you can create a lot of different areas. Privacy on the boat, I think that's one thing. Privacy, second thing is you normally, if you're at anchor or at a mooring ball, you've got the breeze in your face, and uh, you know, no better place to be than up front on a boat. It is a lovely area. You mentioned privacy, and of course privacy is really important if you're, say, going away for a weekend with another couple on a boat like this. Can you give me some more examples of how this boat gives you more than other boats do? Absolutely. Vantage is that one hull, the port hull on this boat specifically, is a full owner's cabin. So they don't share the cabin, no shared bulkheads. On the starboard side, we've got two absolutely equal cabins with equal heads and showers and very comfortable. So you can actually take two couples and not feel that anybody's getting the short end of the stick there. So, but really, you know, seeing is believing, Danny. So let me get you down there. All right, let's check it out. Okay. Okay, Lenny, we're down here in the starboard aft cabin. On this boat, we have got two equal cabins on the starboard hull, uh, each with their own uh, ensuite uh, heads, um, separate stall showers, which is very comfortable. On the port side, we have a complete owner's cabin, which is one cabin, ensuite toilet, with a uh, shower, separate shower stall as well. Um, important things here is queen bed splits into two. The storage that you've got here is phenomenal on a boat, a boat of this size. The headroom around, as you can see, is incredible. As you can see, this boat really does give you a lot more privacy than most. In fact, if you take that couple that goes out with you for the weekend and you berth them in the starboard side and you stay in the port side, well, let's just say you could have a lot of fun. We have spent long enough inside the cabin. Hey, the best part of being on a boat is getting outside, right? Yes. I am walking up stairs from the cabin to the flybridge. Is this a spacious flybridge or what? All right, let's fire up the barbecue. It's nice and comfortable up here too, thanks to the fact that catamarans have their weight spread really far out so you get really nice stability. But don't take my word for it, let's go for a boat ride. So the Aquila is not a boat for performance nuts. This is made to cruise for long distances efficiently. Part of that efficiency comes from the boat's construction, which includes vinyl ester resin that's all vacuum infused. It makes for a very light, stiff boat. What about handling and speed? Well, like many large power cat cruisers, it's not exactly a sports car. Cruising at right around 20 knots, we got about 0.6 nautical miles to the gallon. But Kick it back to a six knot cruise and you're getting more like 3.6 nautical miles to the gallon. And remember, this is a long distance cruiser, slow and steady. Now when there is some motion to the ocean, fortunately this boat has handholds all over the place. It's a great safety feature. And there's another really neat safety feature back here in the stern, which Lex is gonna tell us about. Lex, what's going on back here? Yeah, Lenny, this is a great place to hang out, but the number one thing here is also safety of the boat. This you can destroy here and it's totally replaceable. It's not actually effectively part of the structure of the boat. So destroy it, bang it up. So if um, you back into a piling, it's not the end of the world. Absolutely not at all. And that's fairly common for cats to get this, you know, damage in this area, but we've taken care of that. Hey, you know what I just realized, Lex? These stairs make really comfortable seats. Absolutely, that's the way they're designed. Walk up and down them, sit on them, hang out here, just as everybody does on a boat. I got one more thing to show you. You just can't go yet, because you got to check out this really cool feature. <laughs> 